The old first gen and second gen Toyotas had one main issue, and this is how you fix it for about $20 plus some wiring. It's the dreaded back window. Toyota was making these, they made a bunch of safety little things that the window won't go down or up if certain things are done. To try, if this is down a little bit, then you gotta push this up because there's a little magnetic patch in there. There's a bolt on one of these bolts that has to be in because that also has a magnetic catch. There's also a switch and a relay and all the other fun things like fuses and stuff that can just get away of the back window not getting down. And if it's not working, it's a pain in the ass. Now you could rack your brain on uh, exactly what's going wrong with it. You could swear at it, sing off key, tice the forerunner with some, maybe some premium fuel. Or instead of all those things, bypass all those systems. I bought this. This is a momentary reverse polarity switch and you can get these on Amazon for 10 bucks. The way I wired it is I got a fuse block here going right to the power lead on this guy. And here's your switch. So the yellow wire is constant power, black wire is ground, and the other two wires goes to the actual motor. What's nice about this style of switch is that it fits right in the stock location. there's a couple different switches from these things and some of these they stay on when you push down and not release when you put take your finger off you want the momentary type because this is live wired right to your battery so if this actually stays on like that then it'll drain your battery and then all of a sudden you don't have battery to start your car in the morning which that's where i have had the problem with this before if you want to connect it out you've got the motor right here and then basically I just used two female connectors and then connected it up to this connector right here. Tailgate, all the wiring was just sliced. So I had no chance of just splicing up everything. So that's what I came up with. And then I basically wrapped this in electrical tape so that it wouldn't chafe or anything like that. So the only problems is when doing it this way is that you don't have any safety systems in it whatsoever. Oh, you have to be mindful of when you put it up and down. But I find this was the best solution for my vehicle. And if you felt that this was uh, an informative video, or if it helped you out in some way, smash that like button.